Hi, I'm Abhyukta. Welcome back to the second episode of the series Science Behind Spirituality. Today's topic is Nadis, the energy rivers of human body. We all know that natural flowing water finds the part of least resistance and also nourishes everything that comes in its path. Similarly, nadis are channels or pathways of breath in our body. They act as energy rivers of human body. They make up a part of energetic irrigation system which keeps us alive. The word nadi is derived from the Sanskrit word nad which means flow, vibration or motion. Are you all wondering if nadis are physically visible in our body? They are not physically visible but can only be felt through the flow of our breath. Within our human body, there is a perfect and subtle inherent network of these nadis that distribute life force throughout. On the physical level, the nadis correspond to our body's nervous system. In the science of yoga, there are 72,000 nadis. All three spring from three basic nadis the left, the right, and the central, namely Ida, Pingala, and Sushumna. Ida starts in the left side of the body and ends at the left nostril. It runs the parasympathetic nervous system. It affects the activities of the left side of the body and the functions of the right brain. It is characterized with the moon and symbolizes our emotions. Pingala begins on the right side of the body and ends at the right nostril. It runs the sympathetic nervous system. It affects the activities of the right side of our body and functions of the left brain. It is characterized with the sun and symbolizes our intellect. Sushumna is the central channel that runs the course of spinal cord and ends at the point between our nostrils. It runs our central nervous system. It represents our self-awareness or self-consciousness. Ida and Pingala begin in the brain approximately at the pituitary gland. Then they weave themselves in opposite directions left and right as they travel down the path of Sushumna along the spine. What do you think this weaving results in? Yes, it results in the energy centers which are nothing but our chakras. Watch the episode 1 of this series to get the reasoning behind the existence of chakras. Hope you are convinced with my explanation on Nadis. Are you wondering what impact does these energy channels have on our health? I will be back with that information in my next video. Thank you for watching and keep the energy flowing. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe if you like this video. Namaste.